According to a source, Randall Stephenson resigned from the PGA Tours Policy Board due to reservations about the tour's intended collaboration with Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. The tour's agreement with Saudi Arabia's National Wealth Fund and that structure, however, appeared to be what prompted Stephenson to leave the policy board. According to the Washington Post, Stephenson announced his decision to step down in a letter before leaving his position as chairman and CEO of AT&T in June 2020. The framework agreement for the tour with Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, according to the Post, is not one that I can objectively evaluate or in good conscience support, particularly in light of the U.S. intelligence report concerning Jamal Khashoggi in 2018, which it claimed to have obtained a copy of. In a message to its members, the PGA Tour announced Stephenson's resignation and praised him for his exemplary service during a 12-year period. Stephenson stated that he planned to step down on June 12, but Monaghan withdrew due to a health concern. Monaghan declared on Friday that he would start working again on July 17. Stephenson wrote in his letter, I joined this board 12 years ago to serve the best golfers in the world and to expand the virtues of sportsmanship instilled through the game of golf. As this board moves forward, I hope that it will thoroughly rethink its governance model and maintain its options to evaluate alternative sources of capital beyond the current framework agreement.